What's up, guys? It's Kennedy from Dynamic Reactions, and we are here for Supergirl Season 5, Episode 4, In Plain Sight. Last episode, uh, Alex had to uh, get her girlfriend out of the city because she can see Malefic. And that puts her in danger. So James and his sister uh, ended up going away to an undisclosed location for her safety. Jean found out that the reason why his brother is wiped from their memories is because Jean wiped him and his father's memories. Thus wiping all of the other Martians memories as well because they are a hive mind. And the British guy at Catco gets curiouser and curiouser, to quote Alice from Batwoman. So, without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Brother. Oh! More are you. What do you know of hurt? When the ones you love turn their back on you, that's pain. But sure. Asian play. Nice move, Kara. Sindark. What just happened? It was open. Elena Torres. Don't take this personally. Oh my god, what is happening? Hey, you really could have hurt that lady. Supergirl? I wonder, do you need to breathe? Sucking the breath out of her? Agent Sloan, you first. That's better. She's not our. Now my brother's friend is his enemy. How sway? Will you have? <clears throat> oh my God. Will you help me? Me? Good yes. boy. And I think a small dose of that would go a long way with Mia. Okay, could you find me a po- Again, you he just can tell she wouldn't there. talk like this, right? And you let us hmm? suffer the consequences. I know. You may say oh, that you erased God. Malefic to protect your family, to protect Marin. But you did it because it was easier than helping you. No. 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 Malefic isn't the monster here, Sean. You are. <gasps> Alex. Alex. Okay, can he see that that's not yeah, directly okay, in line with something she would say? Hey, so oh my god, no! He hit him Alex, with the blaster? Please! <gasps> no! I know my brother is making you do this. And if you can hear me, so can he. I never should have banished Alex you. would never forgive herself now. for this. I've lived on Earth for over 300 years. But I never really found true peace. And I believe it's because of what I did to you, Malefic. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so worried. What have I done? No! Oh no. 
trust me. Yes. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, yay. It's Malefic in the blue jacket. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, thank God. Bringing out and I to find a little box to contain them. Okay, try this box. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> to James. To James. James. To James. To James. To James. No. To you guys. I can't believe James is really gone. I guess part of me always thought he'd come back. I know. But I'm happy for him. He deserves this. Yeah. Kara? What is it? My friend unencrypted the address associated with Elena's account. It's what is here. it? Here. Here? In National City. I forget what you just saw. It's too dangerous. Where are you? An undercover cop? I'm a journalist. Like you. I work for the Times in London. I'm here undercover to investigate Andrea Rojas. I'm sorry, but you've got to leave before you get mixed up in this. Be real with me this once, and maybe I will. Because I already know about your offshore bank account, the one you share with Elena Torres. I know you were in Mexico City yesterday helping her fake her own death. I know that you pretend to have a wife, but you don't. I know about Dr. Jared, Dr. Stern, so why don't you stop trying to cover your tracks and just try telling the truth? Elena thought they were on to her. That they knew she was talking to someone I needed to keep her safe. And what about your inter-gang friend, Sergio Ramos? Sergio is Interpol. Undercover, I, he helped me get her out. If the Rojas's are dirty, why aren't you saying anything? Because I haven't found the proof yet. Two years worth of reporting <coughs> that suggests a criminal conspiracy bigger than Al Capone, but nothing that connects the Rojas's directly. It's why I took the job at CatCo, to get close to Andrea, doing everything I can to get into the Rojas in a circle. You have been a toxic jerk since you got here. How do I know you're not just spinning this to get me off the scent of what you're actually up to? Because that jerk was a lie. An identity I put on to keep everyone at Kako from wanting to get to know me. Well, it worked. Yeah, and it killed me every time I was rude to you. Every time I lied about what I've really been up to. Now that you know, at least I can be honest with you. At least maybe you can forgive me. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'd hate me too. Giving you the cold shoulder. Being hyper competitive in order to get closer to Andrea, criticizing your writing instead of telling you what I really thought. You mean my work's not really sentimental tripe? Your articles are honest and smart. I can never write the way you write. You have two Pulitzers. It's not from the writing, it's from the story. I have craft, you have art. Now promise me you'll let this go. <coughs> Never forgive myself if you got wrapped up in this. You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. I don't doubt that you can take care of everything you set your mind to. Oh, did I just, <laughs> did I just wow. do that? I can't believe you came back, that you bought the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I like a challenge. Who knows? Maybe you and I can fix this town together. I want updates. I hope they don't the leave way, this alone. You had to work a camera? Yes! Like on my phone? <laughs> no. Not like on your phone. Like a real one. My dad gave me this camera. And now it's yours. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. <laughs> don't call me Chief. It's Jimmy. Where am I? 
This is not the Phantom Zone. By now you've realized you can't phase through these walls. I don't think of this as a prison. I'm not your enemy. In fact, I think we can help each other. Oh. We're heading towards crisis. And this is going to open up a whole other can of worms. I just... I can't stand Luna right now, what they're doing with her character. I can't stand it. Like, the actress is doing a great job. But I feel like... I understand that she's hurt and she's a Luther, so it's logical for her to take these actions, but she's trying so hard not to be like them. She's turning into them. It's a mess. But it was a really good episode. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.